and we're going to learn more about smart tags. So there's a couple of different places for that you can interact with smart tags in Mylio Photos. Now let's talk a little bit about what they are and how they're created. So smart tags, as I mentioned, are a form of computer vision, which is AI. All of this takes place 100% privately on your machines. We're not sending your pictures out to our servers, to any third party. This is all happening locally. So when you first load up Mylio Photos 22.2, it's going to take some time for it to scan your library and generate all of those smart tags. So if you've just recently updated and you're not seeing very many smart tags show up in your quick filters, don't be alarmed. It's just going to take some time. So leave Milio open and let it run and they will eventually populate. You may also want to have Milio running on other devices. So if you have more than one computer or if you have a smartphone or a tablet, go ahead and open up Milio photos on those as well. Plug them into power if the power is low and let everything just sit there and chug away to generate these AI smart tags for you when you first install the update. As you bring in new pictures, so let's say you're bringing in pictures off of your phone or off of a camera memory card. Every time you do an import, Milio is going to go through and generate those AI smart tags for those new pictures. The same as it's doing the OCR, the optical character recognition, so finding text in your pictures, and it's gonna be going through and doing the facial recognition. All of that stuff is what we call front-loaded which means that it's happening at the beginning of the process. So later on, once everything is ingested into Mylio, it works super duper fast. So that's kind of an idea of how this works and what to expect as you're getting started with smart tags. So the first place you're probably gonna encounter them is gonna be over here in the left panel. So we go ahead and pop open the sidebar. You can see the first option we have in Quick Filters here is by smart tag. Right above this, we also have a search field. So if I were to go in here and just start typing in a word, so let's go ahead and type in dog, you can see I have options for folders and for smart tags. Later on, this search is gonna include more interesting parameters, but for right now, this search only includes smart tags and folders. So that's a really quick and easy way to find different smart tags. I'm gonna go ahead and close that out for a second and twirl down this disclosure arrow and we'll take a look at some of these categories. So you'll see within each of these categories, there are several subcategories and you can go into all of these and take a look. And this means that Milio has found something that is quite possibly in this category in your library. So let's take a look here and let's just click on baseball. So that found several images of baseball, that's awesome. And if I look through these and they're not all perfect. So most of these are baseball. This one right here is most definitely not. And I'll show you how to correct that here in a few minutes. So this is what you can do. You can even go in here and say balance beam. Um, I don't think any of those are balance beam, but it gives you an idea of what you can take a look at. Now, as you go into some of these categories, let's go ahead and click on fish and we can adjust the sensitivity. So if we look at these results and we go, you know what? I'm getting too much or too little of what I'm looking for. That's what this little gear icon is for. You click on this and you get some settings and you can adjust the AI sensitivity. So the way that AI works is it assigns a percentage or a number as to how confident it is in its identification. And so you, can, it, you have the ability to adjust how sensitive you want this to be. Most images are not gonna be like 100% sure it's this or 0% sure it's this. It's usually somewhere on a spectrum in between. So we have the ability to adjust that sensitivity. If we move the slider to the left, we get more accuracy, but fewer matches. So let's go ahead and move that down and click apply. And you'll see we get fewer results, but a higher um, save right here. So like they're, they're more accurate. Again, if we go in here and click on that gear and we move that up here to more matches and click apply, we're gonna get a bunch of stuff that isn't fish, but we're also gonna get more that are fish that are not as easily identified. So it's up to you how sensitive you want that to be. You can always go back in here and click this back to default. Just click on default here in the middle and that resets it to its default value. Now I go through and I play with that sensitivity setting on a lot of different things. So if you get to a point where you're like, you know what, I need to reset all of these and you just wanna get them all back to the default, up here under buy smart tag, there's a master gear and you can reset sensitivity on all of those. So that's a really cool way to work with that. Now, the next thing I wanna show you is how these smart tags relate to your metadata. So I'm gonna open up the right panel over here and click the info panel. And I'm gonna click 
to close out our quick filters here. And I'm going to go ahead and pull these up. And when I go ahead and click on any given image, so let me go back again, back up to the top of my list here and grab this handle. If you guys didn't know, when you start scrolling fast, you'll get this handle and you can drag that to the top or bottom of your list. It's a really quick and easy way to jump to the most recent or the oldest pictures in your list. And as you scroll it, you'll notice the date on there changing. So you can find things a little bit quick more quickly when you're scrolling. So that's just a quick little hint there, not really related to, to quick uh, to smart tags, but so let's go ahead and grab, which image do I wanna use? Let's go ahead and grab this one here of a couple of glass blowers. You'll notice over here in the info panel, we have now a smart tags selection and any smart tags that have been found for this image are going to be listed here. Now I've also enabled a setting and you can find this under settings, I believe it's under appearance or possibly advanced. I'd have to go in and double check that I've added the number here and this is the that AI sensitivity score. So it tells me how certain the AI is that this is a person. You can see that it's a 99%. So it's very, very certain that there are people in this image. Now I can go ahead and click to another image here. Got the heart tree in harmony and it identified that there's a plant, sky, and trees. So any of these, if I want to take this and say, I want to actually promote this smart tag to a keyword, I can click that check mark and it is now a, a keyword. So one thing to know when you're differentiating between keywords and smart tags is keywords or are, are an industry standard XMP field. So that means if you put anything into this keyword field, it's stored in your XMP metadata and can be read by just about any other photo management program. That's a standard field, and we use the standard for that entry. So any of those applications can read it. Smart tags, on the other hand, are Mylia specific. I believe they still are saved in your metadata, but they're not necessarily going to be readable by other programs. It's going to be readable by Mylio only. So if you want these terms to be promoted to actual keywords that are saved in metadata and readable by other applications, all you have to do is click that check mark and it promotes it. Now, if you find one that does not apply, you can click the X and that removes it from that image. Conversely, if you want, if you accidentally remove something, you can always right click on an image or a group of images and say rescan smart tags, and that'll regenerate the smart tags for that image. So don't be afraid to go through and click through. If you end up hitting something accidentally, you can always rescan. So that makes it very easy to work with. Now let's jump into a real world, world situation here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm here in my all photos and I wanna type in dog. So let's go back to the dog. And by typing in dog, I got dog sled and dog. Now I see the smart tag for dog sled and I don't think I've ever photographed dog sleds ever in my life. So let's see what it found. So I clicked on it and because of the AI sensitivity is low or the, or the the accuracy on those is low. I can go ahead and click on this to adjust the sensitivity. And I can say, I want this to be more matches with less accuracy and click apply. And I'm going to jump back here to the grid view. And you can see that I, what it found as dog sleds is actually, I think that's me or my brother skiing many, many years ago. So that picked that up as dog sled. So I can go over here to my smart tags on the right. And I can see all of the tags that this particular image or I can select all of these images and see all of the tags for these images and decide if they're relevant. So in these images, I know there's no animals. And then I can go down, there's no dogs, there's no dog sleds. And now it took that out of there. So that's not gonna show up in my results anymore. So you can go through and clean some of these things up as you find them. It's not something you have to go through and do, but if it's bugging you, you can get it out of the search and out of your list. So let's go back up here. Now we can go ahead and take out dog sled. And again, let's type in dog. So now you see dog sled is gone. And now all we have is dog. And so I can look through these images and I can see most of these, yes, they are indeed dogs, but some of them are not correct. Like this one, my, my little cousin here playing around at an event, definitely not a dog, but he's on the ground and it's a little bit blurry. I can go ahead and click the X on that to get that one out of the list. This one here with my mom at her art show. I don't think there's any dogs in this list, but one thing then this is kind of um, something I've encountered because this is version one of our smart tags. We're still ironing out a few things behind the scenes. Some words 
mean more than one thing. So you see that there's no dog on this list, but it does have cardigan. And in this case, it's looking at the cardigan, her sweater, but it's thinking it's also a cardigan, the breed of dog. And if you type in cardigan over here, it shows up as both cardigan dog or cardigan clothing. So that's what that's popping up as. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there for now. And we're gonna scroll down and, and fix a couple of other things here. So if I scroll way down, it also pulled in a lot of horse photos that it thinks are dogs. So let's go ahead and collect, correct all of these. I'm gonna go ahead and select a bunch of these images. I know what I was there doing there at this shoot and I know they are most definitely not dogs. That one might be. So let's go ahead and select all of those images. And now you can see we've got a bunch of smart tags here, but every time we click off of one, it's going to click off that entire group. So I'm gonna scroll down here and this is all the animal tags for all of these images. And we're going to just keep scrolling down until we get to dog or anything else that doesn't fit. So give it just a second. There we go. Now we're in the dog section. So we can go ahead and just click off dog. And that takes most of these out of this list. Now we can say we have some breeds of dog in here as well. We know they're not whippets. And we know they aren't Weimariners. And so we're cleaning this up as we go and it's getting better and better. And we're actually training the AI on our own machine to be smarter with our own libraries. So you can go through, oh, there's another dog breed, the Saluki, get rid of that one. And you can make this as um, accurate as you wanna spend the time doing. Now, quick filters and smart tags are not necessarily meant to be 100% perfect. They're meant to help you whittle down your entire library to get to a certain thing. So if I was going through and looking for pictures of my cousin's dog, Jackson, from here, I could right click on this image and I wanna see all the other pictures I took from that day, I could say show in folder or show in life calendar. That's gonna show me all of those images that are grouped together. So this is one of many ways to navigate through your library and find specific things. So I think that pretty much covers all of the important parts about smart tags. Are there any questions? Looks like there's some open okay. stuff in the chat. Yeah, just uh, a couple of things. Uh, you kind of went over it. Jackie was asking if there's an error in a smart tag, can we manually update it? And so you were showing that. So I think yep. that covered it. Uh, Jackie, if you have any uh, further questions, let us know. Uh, the other one was you were uh, showing how it's 99% sure of a particular yes. image. And I believe that's the number in the smart tags and the metadata. So let's yeah. go ahead and grab this one here of Chloe. And we can say in this image, I'm seeing a number here that this is an 85.5% or 0.855 number here. This is an option you can turn on to see this amount of sensitivity. By default, it's off because most people simply just don't care. They just wanna know whether it's a dog or not. But if you do wanna see that, you can go up here to settings and I believe it is under advanced. So, Let's go here, face recognition puzzles. There we go. Under advanced, show smart tag confidence scores. And that'll go ahead and put that number on there for you. So if that's of interest to you, you can go ahead and turn that on. I find it helpful and I find it interesting, but it's certainly not necessary for using the tool. So when I reset the sensitivity to defaults, no, that does not bring them back. What would bring all those tags back is if I grabbed a group of images, let me go ahead and pop back here to the grid, let's say I grab all these horse pictures again and I right click on that and I say rescan smart tags, that would bring them back. Okay. Any other questions? Mm. Angela, okay. can you hear me? Yes, I can. You took all your horses and you got rid of the dog description. Mm -hmm. Can you go in and add the horse description if it didn't so figure out it was a horse? You can add it manually as a keyword. So right now I could go ahead and grab all these horse pictures and I could go into keywords and just add horse okay. and each and so forth. But not as a smart tag. Correct. Now, what I would recommend is if there are smart tags that you see that are missing, that would be valuable to you, um, add your feedback to the feature request part of our forum. So if you go to, let me go ahead and pull up Safari here really no, quick. But, but I'm not trying to add a new one. What mm -hmm. if it exists, but it didn't recognize it? So I just want to link your horse picture to the smart. If it is, I don't know if it's on there or not, but assume you have 
heart tag for horse. Mm -hmm. And he didn't recognize those as horses. It thought they were dogs. Can you say not only it's not a dog, but it is a horse? Not at this time. Okay. Good enough. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I wanted to know. Point is just to add here. <laughs> of course. So once you add a keyword here and the smart tags, if you go up here to search, if I type in horse here, it's going to bring up all of my horse pictures. Um, and those are going to be things that have horse in the name of the folder and then in the file name and in the keywords, if it read the word horse in anywhere in the image. And if there's an associated um, smart tag, it'll show those as well. So when you use the search at Thank the top, you. it pulls in your, your smart tags as well and your actual keywords. All right. Great questions. What else? Yeah, just got? let everybody know in the chat, I put the link to any feature requests to Perfect. our forum.mylio.com. So uh, we'd love to hear from you. So if you have requests such as this, just go ahead and put that in there. All right. Well, I think that covers everything we wanted to cover today. So if there are no more questions, I'm going to go ahead and turn you guys loose a little bit early. I hope you enjoyed this in-depth look, look at smart tags. I find them to be tremendously helpful and a lot of fun to work with. And just another great tool for navigating and finding things in my library. Um, as Lori said, if you have um, questions, concerns, things you, you'd like to see done differently with smart tags, or maybe a tag isn't working the way you expect that it would, we invite you to pipe in in our forum and add your feature requests or any other technical issues that you're having. And we will definitely take a look at that. Darren, you've got your hand raised. Yeah, yeah morning. Um, I just have a question about OCR, and you said that's one of those front ingesting things. So it's great. Um, in here, when you if you type in the smart tag of text, I think it might be under activity, I can't remember, or or something like that. Can you rescan images um, to do the OCR rescan? You know how you can rescan right. what you showed us? Like yeah, smart I'm not tag sure. things. I don't think you can because there's no place that you can go in and, and adjust or ignore an OCR bit of text. Right. So it's just that it scans it, it's there. And if you do a search, it'll find it, but it's not like it creates any other fields that it can search or that you can correct. So like, for instance, with face tagging, you can go in and ignore faces that, that the software found. And then mm -hmm. if you did that by accident, you can always rescan. So yep. same with smart tags. If you go ahead and click that X and say, that's not correct. And you go, oops, that was wrong. You can then rescan. But yes. with OCR, I don't think there's any way that we can personally as a user modify it. So I don't think there's a rescan option. Okay. Okay. So that would be like just what I was doing that for was just trying to find um, text within, for example, receipts. I'm on this thing about receipts all the time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, but I found when I did a search for receipts or something similar with texts, I only get a small portion of what I used to have for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah. That's something I would post about that in the forum. And oh, well, somebody yeah. else is having that problem and you'll you'll most likely get the attention of one of our engineers and they'll take a look at that. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. You're Angel. welcome. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Looks like there was a couple of other things here. Um, Carol, I'm sorry you uh, got mixed up about the time. So as far as the basics of smart tags, it looks like Lori shared the link in the manual. So that's going to be the best place to go for written description. And this entire session is recorded. And Lori is amazing at getting these things produced and put up on the community. So you should be able to find that under coffee breaks in the community. I would venture possibly even later today because she's that fast. But I usually say give it a day or two, but she'll get that posted for you. I'll do it today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are there any other questions? Darren, your hand's still up. So I don't know if you have another question or if that was all for today. No, sorry. I'll find, try and figure okay. out how to do that. <laughs> no worries. Goodbye. I never mind hearing from you. So, all right. Well, with that, I'm going to go ahead and turn you guys loose. I want you to go out there and play with the smart tags, get a feel for it. And then next week when we meet up again for coffee break, we're going to be talking about more of the new features. If you have any questions or concerns about smart tags, please bring them to the next coffee break. And I will do my best to get those answered for you. That I want to wish you guys a wonderful rest of your week. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Thank Bye. you, Angela. Thanks, Laurie. Bye now. Thank You're you. welcome. Bye. -bye.